Mr. Hamish, can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure, then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. As deputy director, how was your relationship with Montague done? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that, if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed, uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And... He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Hamish, can you tell us who holds the keys to the locked greenhouses? That would be Albert, Mr. Dunn's son. Yes, Albert keeps all the keys, and one can only imagine why. What do you mean? Well, he was never interested in Kew Gardens before. And now, all of a sudden, he is trying to act as if he owns the place. I think he wants to take over the management here. <laughs> He'd do better to leave that to me. He has no experience. No, none at all. You tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Are you aware of the Divine Syndicate? The Divine what? Is this a joke? No, I am quite serious. What a ridiculous name. Anyway, I have never heard of this syndicate. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. Nursery. Seed house. Ventilation system. Dry tropics. Water lily greenhouse. Colonial collection. Palm house. A map of Kew Gardens. Nursery. Locked. Seed house. Locked. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. A water tank.
Can I help you, gentlemen? Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, oh, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. For I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then. That is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah. At the moment, I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes. I cannot say that he was a kind man, for he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path. I have to manage Kew Gardens. And I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the Deputy Director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the Deputy Director of Kew Gardens. My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed. That is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honor of being the garden's longest serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all, it should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so, but we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No, I cannot say that I have. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. A task list for Albert, compiled by Martin Hamish. Sweep out the palm house, scrub the toilets, clean the storage shed tools.
a list of the plants that were displayed at the exhibition and later stolen. I suggest that we don't tell Miss Margaret White about this document. A photograph of Montague Dunn and Reynold Hamish. Newspapers discussing Kew Gardens. Champagne. Montague Dunn had good taste. French wine. A remarkable vintage. Here it is. Here it is. And here is the Divine Syndicate's address. Perfect. 
It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn. This place is beautiful, Holmes. Its atmosphere is remarkably soothing. Let us find someone who could help us. Good day to you, sir. My name is Shul... I am exalting the sap. A while can you wait? From the trace of elements and, moreover, from the quality of the ambient geotropism, it depends. Therefore, please, mind my gravitropism. Its balance. Do not disturb. Disturbed is most definitely the word. There. Completed is the symbiosis. Welcome you are. To introduce myself, I shall. I am the Green Grand Mystic. The... the Green Grand Mystic? Himself? This is me. Who am I speaking to? We are two gentlemen who are extremely interested in the uh, vegetation philosophy that is advocated by this establishment. Listening to you, I am. We should like to take a look around to immerse ourselves in the wisdom that emanates from here. Hmm. It is a school of anastomosis, the divine scholastic syndicate for vegetation veneration and meditation. You may say, the divine syndicate, glory to the eukaryotic. Only true devotees, those whose hearts are ready to spermatophize in sharing of knowledge, are permitted to physically enter our vegetable kingdom and its wisdom. And to be permitted, you must earn it. Yes. Hmm. We visited Kew Gardens, and we found your symbols on their flower pots. Coincidence, I am thinking. They would scavenge our refuse. It would not surprise me. It was merely an observation. Green Grand Mystic, we are ready to become devotees and gain access to your temple. What is the name of our Lord, our God King? Our God King's name is Triwan, Green Grand Mystic. Oh, la! Good, good, I like you. Here is the holy key to the wisdom place. Holy donation can you make whenever you so wish. Thank you so much. I pray you to taste our fertilizer substance. From the burdens of life it helps to free. Uh, but of course. Raw sap, it is called. It is near the entrance. Well, we will leave you to your meditation.
a fragment of a flower pot. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. The Kew Gardens symbol. <laughs> <laughs>